So is your glucometer as accurate as the labs you get from the doctor's office? Hi everyone, my name is James Barron. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. I wanna to talk to you today about labs versus your glucometer. And what's the difference? Well, if this was a while back, if this was maybe 15, 20 years ago, there would be a difference. Your glucometer would be testing your whole blood and the labs at the doctor's office or you get from like a Quest or a, you know, a diagnostic center would be looking at plasma. Now there is a difference. The difference could be 15 to 20% higher blood sugar readings or different blood sugar readings, okay? But luckily now, so now if you have a newer glucometer, it is now testing plasma blood, okay? It's not testing the whole blood. I won't get into the difference, but you know, just know that your glucometer is testing plasma blood and the labs done at the doctor are also testing plasma blood. So they should be roughly the same or in the same range in the same ballpark. Now, we're not done, okay? You could turn it off, that, that's the answer, they're the same. But I wanna explain something else. Now, understanding your labs and understand what labs are for. Now, labs in general are not really ever gonna be 100% efficient at telling you what exactly is going on in your blood because your blood is always changing for the most part, okay? Now, when you're looking at labs, you wanna look at trends. This is why it's so important to use your glucometer every day. If you're a type two or type one, or especially if you're severe type one or severe type two, you wanna be checking your blood sugar multiple times a day at key points throughout the day. This isn't to make your life miserable. This isn't to make your life hard. This is to give your care team a good idea of what's going on. Again, labs aren't good if you just get them once every six months. I mean, they're okay, but it's just gonna take longer to get a trend. If, you, if you're a severe diabetic or type two diabetic, I recommend you get labs done every three months, especially if you're making big changes in your lifestyle, okay? That way we can look at trends. And when you do those big labs at the doctor, that's really great because you can get A1C, you can ask for lipids, you can ask for inflammatory markers, and we can get a bigger picture of what's going on, okay? But don't discount your glucometer because that's gonna be really important to know what's going on when you're not at the doctor's getting labs done, okay? On your day-to-day -day normal, you know, daily habits that you're doing and seeing how your blood sugar, how your body is reacting to what you're doing. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I hope that cleared up the difference. And again, you wanna look at long-term trends, not so much just individual values or individual test dates of what's going on, okay? You wanna look at where am I today compared to three months ago, compared to six months ago, compared to a year ago, and look at all the different labs you did, look at your logs from your glucometer, and see am I improving? And that should be what you and your diabetes care team are looking at. Now, the question then is, how do I improve? What are these changes I make? Click the link below, learn about meal plans, learn about recipes, learn about what foods to avoid, you know, and learn, take the next steps to beat your diabetes, to reverse these horrible symptoms, so that way your next lab draw, whether it's three months or six months from now, is amazing, and the doctor sees that you're making big changes, okay? If you enjoyed this message, share it with your friends and family, click the like button, and as always, have a wonderful day.